Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Life is Strange. <laughs> so, um, now we are at a point where we did some sleuthing and investigation. Uh, got more info and evidence from David. David is finally gone. <laughs> and we're back at Blackwell Academy to infiltrate Nathan's room to i guess gather more information and i, I guess expose them eventually <laughs> um but we are with chloe at blackwell this is gonna be interesting um nathan is most likely unhinged and he's going to uh cap cap, cap a bullet in, in in our faces for sure 100 <laughs> percent. but let's go ahead and get started and see what dirt we can find from uh nathan Alrighty, max Let's get going. Uh, no. Yeah, run. Because I know I can run. Bam. You're supposed to trip. <laughs> Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Can Why are you here? at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. I mean, yeah, he he tried to touch her. <laughs> ah, yes, you're flying. I had to clear oh. away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think... How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Yeah, um, what about the animals, Sam? Hmm? I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Let's talk about the uh, dead birds. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Tabanga? Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I, he's not wrong if it's fate, I guess. What about your beloved squirrels? Oh, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm right, let very me, worried. Let me, um... Arcadia Bay is scared too. Get that food in your belly. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Get the Good food in the belly, about, and then we kill it. And then we sacrifice, and it smear its blood all over Sam, and then force him to tell us where Rachel is. <laughs> that is a good plan, right, Max? I think it's a wonderful plan. Definitely a plan we should we should execute, 100%. Oh, it's locked. Of course he locked it. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm on to you, Sam. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. What? Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? Uh, drone? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. 
Do you like Warren or something? Is that why? Is that why? You have an issue with us, Brooke, because That's of so that. ironic that Warren asked Max to be right. Feel like the sky wants to Right, notice. okay. <sighs> My sweet Kate. Accessibility upgrades. That's nice, though. They finally got the... They finally got it going. Whew. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Because now we have the accessibility upgrades happening. Yep. No need to go there now. Right. What was... I have to find info about Nathan. That was the thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Right. Let's ask uh, this... Let's ask Brooke again. Let's talk, talk to, to her. you later, Max. Okay, she doesn't want to talk to us. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, let's find more info. You should have more info on Nathan, most likely. Good random sir. No? What about you? A uh, skateboard man? No? All right. Let me know when you found something. Yeah, you see Chloe um, about Jeez. that. Good to see you out and about, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear... It's not about that petition you didn't sign. What about Nate? I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. You know him better. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. Okay, then now we know. All right, on re recent events. I was events. hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Uh, beyond science? I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Right. Uh, prophecy. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. Tabanga. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate is the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Nah. Nah, we're fine. Or the entirety of Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe. Not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. The Prescott. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. 
Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. All right, cool. Nathan is not here. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Oh, God. Oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Chloe, that's gross. <laughs> that is gross. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. All right, we rewind time, baby. Vortex Club. That's the showers. Skateboarding is not a, is, is something crime. Oh, toilet paper. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Sit and shit, I like that sign. <laughs> That doesn't look like that's Nate's room. Bigfoot's got big balls. It's all good in the woods. Definitely not Nate's room. The Prescott's rule this town. This can only be Nathan's room. Yeah, that looks like a Nathan's room. Let's just rewind it back up. Enter. Ah, yes. Break it open. Oh my god. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. What is that? Uh, Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop at and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you you would get her back on the right track because it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad but she can't keep blaming david now i'm sorry joyce even i get into shenanigans but i am trying to be a good influence on chloe i know max i forget you're still teenage adults what is this though i wonder if that's like surveillance or something that monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. Damn. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world, the diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially, officially the best son in the world. Right. I really hope they were all consenting models. Oh my god, Nathan. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay mother- Oh my god. Chloe.
That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Uh, I don't want to turn on the, the MP3 player yet. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Kind of makes me mad he's actually good at this photography stuff. <laughs> oh? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Yeah, no, the prescription definitely made him uh, bash it crazy. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. God. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. All right, we will look at that. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Important safeguards, owner manual, structures for use. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Yeah. These films all have a dark pattern. Okay, yeah, Nathan is not mentally sound there. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. And he has a selfie of us? That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Nathan Prescott, all-American teen. Ah, yes, Oregon's best boobies. Best booba. <laughs> uh, all right, let's check out the computer. Jesus, Nate. He is legitimately batshit crazy. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. To Victoria Chase, hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched out going and I'm picking up some serious potty favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get justice. And he has that video literally set up to play on replay, Jesus. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make a an appointment at any time. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panestates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son, your father. Right, thanks, thanks, Papa. Damn. Like, geez. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Tudo bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that... My talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, 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 please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. 
back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. I better write back or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. XOXO Chris. <laughs> oh god. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Extreme diet suppressants. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be s s settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. All right then, jeez. See, but I haven't really found much dirt as far as like anything to, uh, ah, wait what a minute. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's, Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Interesting. Is that the phone that he... Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. And we gotta rewind so he knows that we, we didn't uh, break into his room. Chloe! I got, I got a phone. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? Uh. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Max, I got this. Oh. Get the f out of my face. Uh. Oh my god, Warren. <gasps> uh. You are so f dead. Yeah. Uh. Get off me, bro. Uh. Uh. What is wrong with Warren, though? Like, like, Warren, are you okay? I mean, if we stay out of it, he could kill this dude, but we we should stop Warren because Warren doesn't look like he's okay. Let, let's, let's stop him, let's stop him. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead! Let's go, now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all f He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. I mean, we could have just rewinded the whole situation. You know that, right? And avoided that confrontation, Max? We're not gonna, okay. <laughs> I, I would have done that. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. 
You can throw a mean punch, though. <laughs> yeah, that guy is so in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. See, is, is, is that a good idea, though, to go see Frank? Because I, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Those bills must stink, though. Since they haven't cleaned that up, that must smell really bad. And you're living right next to that stuff? God. God. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. <laughs> yeah. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grow up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Right, you see, um... I am so gonna screw this up. I already feel it. I, I, I am I am so gonna screw this up. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. Um, oh wait, what's this? Signpost. <laughs> the forest seemed quiet. No sign of life or deer. Oh, what's this? There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. Ah, uh, yes, the whale. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. That's a lot. I thought it was just three, four. That, that's a lot. Okay, then. That is a lot of whales. Oh. Oh, poor little beach ball. I'm just It exploring. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh, yes, we were. We were. I'm just trying to make sure I can trigger some sort of a. Yeah. I can trigger some sort of extra dialogue or something <laughs> uh, to talk with this dude. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. I guess, yeah. It's kind of gross, though. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh, well, I mean, it's simple, I guess. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Yeah, good doggy, good. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. 
Okay. Oh. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Um... I mean, you, you, you already did. <laughs> I could be smart and be like, well, you already did. Um, don't get it. I, obviously not help or else, because that's going to instigate them. You don't get it. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it, especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. I do. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the f*** back now! Pompidou! Wait! You f killed my dog! Oh my god! Chloe! Can I... Can I rewind? Oh no! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. This actions will have consequences? Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. Yeah, no, we're not and only I can change it. Yes. And 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 we are go, go faster. Yeah, we are changing this. I I do not accept this. Alright, let's try this again. Hello, Chloe. Do not shoot. Okay? Look at me. Do not Chloe shoot. Looks ready to rumble. We are going to talk to Frank. Woo him into giving us the code. Do not shoot. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Um. See, if I tell you to get rid of the gun. But okay, that whole situation though, what happened was he he got aggressive with us he got us by the chokehold the dog came out when we drew our weapon and then chloe shot the dog and then shot frank because he got irate and blinded by rage when yeah okay so not watch her mouth because she didn't really talk um be careful be careful okay don't give frank any excuses to go ballistic we need his help chloe you know, I'm not a total fuck up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? All right. You say that. So, um... Wait, what? What was, what was the question? Because usually when we do the fast forward skip thing, that means I already read the dialogue. Uh, no fight. 
Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't f with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I... Okay, um... Definitely not you don't get it, because then he, 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 he got... I, he, why are you so sensitive, Frank? Why? <laughs> why are you so sensitive? Um, help or else. I'm so... I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry for offending you. Help or else. Obviously not that one. So... And you already did. That... No, that's... That'll, um, sprinkle in the the fire onto a small ego already so maybe i'm sorry i'm sorry listen frank i'm sorry to be such a nuisance but this is important yeah yeah everything's important these days but i can tell you're not bullshitting me there's no time for that frank i i just need a little bit of information yeah yeah well it always starts with just a little and chloe here knows all about that don't you Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? Yes. After you aimed a gun at me and then pulled the trigger. Uh, okay, no bullets, helping Chloe. Are... You, you, you scared me, though, you scared me. That's an honest response, you scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera, I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog is, and if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Yeah. Trained to kill. <laughs> dog rescue. Pompadou is cute. Dog rescue. I think he'll like that. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? What are you hiding? Rachel's letter, bracelets, Rachel's letter. You know, Oh, uh, ooh, okay, this is, it's either Rachel's letter or you know Rachel. I feel like if I say the letter, that may trigger him. Right, Rachel's letter. And see, that's the thing. He's gonna be like, how did you know? Because I, I, I don't think he knows that we went into his RV and ransacked it. So, <laughs> um, you know what? I'll bite. R Rachel's letter. Let's see. L let's see the outcome. Worst case scenario, I just got to redo this all over again. But I want to see his response on that. Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you that letter huh the one in my rv are you insane you read my private letter man there is something about you that is so wrong i don't trust you at all now get out of my face we don't have much time frank rachel needs you it's too late she's gone you don't even know her like you did i loved her asshole and she loved me i know that chloe you don't know shit you were part of her problem, always trying to take her away from me. Always! 
Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever talk. All right, okay, see, that's, yeah, okay. Yep, I knew it. I knew that was gonna lead into that. I already knew it. Okay. Yep. Let's rewind. Nope, I already knew the outcome. I just wanted to see his tits response. It's kind of one of those things like, you already know the outcome, but you just want to see what happens anyways. That was close. I think I, I think that was the final um, question, but definitely it's the the top one. Most likely, you you know her. Pretty sure. Well, I'll see you when I get there. All right. So, um, you know Rachel, or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 know Rachel. I'm not gonna say what are you hiding. That's instigating as hell. And then the bracelet, because we already. I, I I think it's you 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 know Rachel. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Yay. Oh, God. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. <sighs> okay. No cap in the face. Let's go. <laughs> Cause Frank, you died twice. <laughs> that was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. I don't care if this actually Rachel has consequences. Must have seen something good in him. I don't care if this will have consequences because at least Chloe will not have that guilt on her shoulders. I cannot do that to her. All right, Chloe, let's get going. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes, the pieces are coming together. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Oh, yeah, one message from Frank. Oh, let's go ahead and read that. Hi, Max. Just wanted to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want to party and good luck. Oh, and he's super nice to us now. Oh, see, see, that was... Yes, keeping him alive was worth, yes. Because then I... I, I don't know what I would have done <laughs> um, if I kept killing him. But it looks like this is it for this episode. Um, I'm going to call it here. And next episode, we can focus on connecting the dots on the board. <laughs> but thank you guys so 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 much for joining me on this episode hope you have an awesome day and i will see you next time bye bye